Once upon a time, 2K Sports actually made baseball games. Wow, 10 years ago, I'm feeling pretty old. They eventually went with making an arcade series called The Bigs. Picked up by Kuzmano. Steps on first. Which takes the players, injects them with more steroids than Barry Bonds, and have them do insane stuff. They were reminiscent of the MLB Slugfest games, although you can't knee a guy in the balls and run away. These games were fun, and they would get a sequel with the Bigs too. Looks like we have ourselves a new series of baseball games. What could they do for the third game? This is disgusting. So uh, we get Nicktoons MLB. Definitely one of the odder looking titles out there. It's like Space Jam, but instead of Looney Tunes, it's Nicktoons, and instead of Michael Jordan, it's, uh, Andre Ethier. Nicktoons MLB has 24 Nicktoon characters to choose from. The character roster is pretty disappointing. Whoa, did you guys hear that voice crack? Now I stopped watching Nickelodeon like in 2009 or something. So I'm not gonna stand here and tell you what a fanboy or a chum chum is. But this roster is lacking. Why are Squidward and Mr. Krabs overlooked for the Flying Dutchman and frickin' Larry the Lobster? His boring ass? I work out. Sheen and Ultralord are in the game, but no Jimmy Neutron. Why? There's a lack of classic characters here. No Rugrats, Fairly Odd Parents, Rocco's Modern Life. What a ripoff! I told you. No, Hey Arnold. It's a baseball game. Hey Arnold had like 10 baseball episodes. Gerald Field could have been a field in the game. Mickey Kaline could have been a character. Come on. I guess you can make an argument that this game is only featuring modern characters, but this game has characters from Ren and Stimpy, Invader Zim, and Danny Phantom. Shows that were long gone when this game was made. Hey, at least we got this guy. The monkey! Characters that aren't represented in the actual game itself get these little loading screens. And hey, maybe it's a good thing those characters aren't in the game anyway. Because presentation-wise, this game is... Uh, oh boy. So there are Nicktoon-themed stadiums to choose from. I don't think Aang would be happy that the air temples were reconstructed for baseball, but whatever. The real shitty part here is that there are only six MLB stadiums. What happened? Wrigley, Fenway, Yankee Stadium, Dodger Stadium, AT&T, and of all places, Rangers Ballpark. <laughs> I'm guessing they were only going for the most iconic and best looking stadiums. But the Rangers? Huh? The hell? For the most part, both the Nicktoons and MLB stadiums look fine. I just wish there was more of them. Nothing says Mets versus Diamondbacks like Fenway Park. Character models, on the other hand, look completely cursed. I understand that most 2D characters would have a rough transition when going to a 3D environment, but some of these guys could have been done a little bit better, or a lot a bit better. Powdered Toastman is just... Ew! And SpongeBob... Damn, boy, he's thick, boy! The same sponge that was smaller than his buddy Patrick can now engulf him if he wanted to. Why is Katara white? What is she, the Katar from the shitty last Airbender movie? The monks named me Ong. Boy, no they didn't. You are a dumb ass. It's just nasty. Look at how these odd ass looking characters move and animate. It's gross. When they come up to bat, it's fine. It actually looks pretty decent. Stepping in for the first time today, Patrick Star. But in the actual gameplay, they use the same human-like mocap animations as the MLB players. This is fine for like the avatar characters because they themselves are just realistic shaped humans. But when you have characters like Invader Zim and Patrick doing stuff like this, it just looks odd. It reminds me of Sonic 06 animation or that one movie with all the product placement. I forgot what it's called. The game does have commentary, believe it or not, by Perch Perkins from SpongeBob and Gurr from Invader Zim. And it's as bad as you'd expect. I like cake. Yeah, that's really funny, Gurr. <laughs> it's so funny, I'm gonna turn the commentary off forever. Gameplay is essentially the big stew. From batting, to pitching, to the star ratings, there isn't much different that this game does. In Exhibition, you select your team and it can be a real MLB team or a fake team with these punny joke names like Homer Run and Jose Can You See. That was funny stuff. After that, you select Nicktoons to fill random positions. You pitch with these over-exaggerated pitches. 
batters have a hot zone. If the ball is thrown there, you have more of a chance to get a hit. But if you miss it, that hot zone shrinks. Whenever a ball is in play, you have a chance to do some crazy shit. Most of these things are just simple presses of the A button, but sometimes you get a little mini game where you press buttons in a sequence or you hold a button until a certain amount of time. Throughout the game, you earn turbo. You can use this to run faster, throw harder, use a bar for a special pitch, or use it for the only real reason you should, to hit an automatic dinger. Do you want to know the terrifying truth? Or do you want to see me suck a few dingers? Dingers! dingers. <laughs> when hitting these home runs, you have unique things happen in both the real stadiums and the Nicktoons ones. This works well for the most part. I mean, batting is a little finicky because sometimes I feel like I miss the ball completely, but I get a hit anyway, but it's fine. There's just one problem for me. This is essentially the bigs with Nicktoon characters. Nothing separates this game from it. No special powers, no nothing. There are multiple game modes, but they don't amount to much. There's a tournament mode where you pick one team and play the best of three series. If you pick an MLB team, you just play against other MLB teams. So essentially what I'm saying is, without the Nicktoons, you're just playing a gimped version of the bigs. So why even bother? Then there's a mode where you choose between two teams. One drafts Nicktoons, the other drafts MLB players. I'm really stretching the term game mode here. It's like if I were to call Mountain Dew a beverage. Something that's actually different is this thing called distance derby. You pick a batter and aim for targets. It's shallow like this puddle or my standards for making a good video, but at least it's different. By the way, how can a blind girl play baseball? The only other thing is these unlockable baseball cards and they're just worthless. So I guess the end game here is you work towards collecting these cards. Sounds like it's almost as pointless as the girls in Def Jam Vendetta, but at least there I have something to look at. Like what am I gonna do with Squidward? So I know what you're thinking. Hey man, this game's for kids. Lay off. Well, guess what? You, my friend, are wrong. This game is rated E for everyone, meaning everyone can play it. You can play it. I can play it. Even Freak over here can play it. I grew up with so many E for everyone games that were for kids and adults alike. There's no reason why this game can't be held up to these standards. And there's no reason why Nicktoons MLB has less features than the DVD menu of Spider-Man 2. And why is it featureless? Well, allow me to use deductive reasoning. 2K had exclusivity for the MLB license, but there's a problem with that. Their games weren't selling. The MLB The Show series was a better alternative, and the 2K games weren't really all that good. What the fuck? They were losing money on each MLB game, which is why they went to any lengths to sell their baseball games. One million dollar challenges and bundles with the NBA games. The MLB license was losing 2K money at this point. So here is where Nicktoons MLB comes in. They have the engine from the bigs, so just slap Nicktoons characters on it for a quick cash grab. It doesn't matter if it's good or not, they just have to make a profit at this point before their MLB license can expire. A couple years later and the MLB license did expire, leaving Nicktoons MLB as a curious thing in sports gaming history. Nicktoons MLB is not a good game. At best, I would give it to a child to distract them, but it would probably only distract them for like 10 minutes before they find a better game on their phone. I would just recommend playing the bigs too, because it has way more features and game modes and it's way more polished. With some effort, they could have made this a classic sports cartoon game that we've all could have come back to like, uh, Toon Hoops on CartoonNetwork.com, I guess, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not gonna tell you to like the video or anything because you're all grown, do your thing. Check out my other stuff if you want and see ya.